Hi folks, welcome to the Dragon State channel. Dragon State validates blocks in the main proof of state networks of the moment, Cosmos, Polkadot, Kusama, Kava, and also in some interesting test nets that are about to move to mainnet, as for example, Ethereum 2.0 or Sentinel. In all of those networks, we are present from the very first block, the Genesis block, and that together with our architecture focused on security is our best identity sign. In this video, I will show you how to do staking in Polkadot's blockchain and thus participate in it as nominators. This way of participating in the network will allow you to get an interesting reward in the form of tokens. The first requirement to participate as a nominator is to have an account, also called a wallet, address or public key. In order to do that, we have two options. The most recommended is to install in our browser an extension called Polkadot.js extension. It is available for both Brave or Chrome and Firefox. I will put the links in the description of this video. To some of you, this extension will remind you of MetaMask, its equivalent in the Ethereum network. When you install it, you have to be careful and keep your recovery key safe, because in the event of your computer being destroyed or irrecoverable, this key would be the only way to regain control over your funds. I recommend that you make a backup in triplicate kept in several locations, encrypted USB, paper, other computers, etc. And you should keep this key safe, so that no one else than you has access to it. Once the browser extension is installed, an orange icon with a white P will appear in the upper right corner. Clicking on this icon will open the extension, and with the plus sign, you can add new accounts. As you can see, I have already created two accounts here. It would be as simple as clicking on this first option, Create New Account. The other option is to create an account directly in the Polkadot web application.js. I'll also put the link in the description box. On this website, in the Accounts tab, you will see a button, Add Account. When you click it, we'll ask you a series of data. In the first of them, you can put the name you want for your account. You will also be asked twice for a password that you must remember. That the most important thing again is the private key. That private key or mnemonic seed consists of a series of random words. You must keep these words safe and in triplicate. So as mentioned before, these words will be the only way to regain control over your account. When you finish the process of adding the account, the platform also offers you to download a recovery file encrypted with your password and with the extension .json. JSON. You should also save this file safely. This file is also another way to regain control over your account. However, it will not be used to retrieve the random words from your private key. You should save this file observing the same security precautions we have already mentioned. When you have your account, the next requirement is to get tokens from the network. The Polkadot token is called DOT, and the way to get these tokens is through an exchange or if you participated in the ICO. You can claim your DOTs directly from the platform itself. I will leave a link with the instructions to perform this process in the description box. Once you have your account and your dots, we can move on to the staking menu. In staking, the first thing we will see is the staking overview section, where you will see a list of the current validators as well as some interesting economic data. Here, for example, you can see the Dragon Stake validator. To stake your dots, we will have to go to the Account Actions section. In Polkadot, the process of staking consists of two steps, the bond and the nominate. The bond is to lock our funds on the network and the nominate is to choose a list of validators where to make our staking. To start the process, we will press the button Add Nominator. In step 1 of 2, a window will appear where we have to choose the amount we are going to lock. It is very important not to lock all the available funds. In this case, I will lock 0.04 dots 
out of a total of 0.05 dots. You have to leave a small amount not bonded in order to be able to operate with that account and pay the fees of the blockchain. We also see that the minimum lock-in period is 28 days. This means that when we want to unlock those funds, for example do the reverse process or to unbound, those funds will remain locked for 28 more days until we can dispose of them. The last option in this window allows us to choose the destination of our profits. If we leave it by default, those benefits will increase our stake automatically. If you choose another option, those gains will go to the unlocked balance. That is, you will have liquid balance not subject to the 28-day locking period. In the following screen, step 2 of 2, we will have the possibility to choose the validators in which we are going to trust our stake. The platform used to help us by making a suggestion of validators based on the benefit they offer. This is an automatic selection that I recommend to deactivate in the case it is active. Let's make a more personal selection by disabling that functionality. I also recommend not to choose more than once the same validator. This, in addition to being against decentralization, entails certain risks and possible network penalties. We'll choose Dragon Stake, the Liga Network, Polka Stats Validator, Federico, Forbol, and Kira. This is not only an example but also a suggestion for our followers. This selection of validators are veterans in the networks, have great knowledge and very good infrastructure. Together with these six, you can choose them more up to a maximum of 16. Finally, we will click on the red button Bond and Nominate. Depending on whether you are using the browser extension or accounts created on the website itself, a different window will appear asking us to confirm the process using our password. But here would end our staking process. Finally, I wanted to show you how to change our set of validators at any time. To do this, click on the three vertical points to the right of our wallet and choose Set Nominees. The same window of the previous step 2 will be opened and it also makes an automatic selection. Again, we will deactivate this option and I recommend you to choose this group of validators. Dragon State, Deliga Network, Polka Stats, Validator, Kira, Federico and Furball. They are a very safe group of validators and very active and accessible members of the community that you can easily find if you need any kind of help. Finally, we press the nominate button and the system asks us for our password. This generates a transaction sending it signed to the network. First, it is broadcasted to the network and as soon as the validator includes it in the blockchain, the confirmation will appear. The green box indicates the success of the transaction. Now we have our new set of chosen validators. And that's all, folks. We will already be participating in the network as nominators and enjoying the periodic reward that the network will give us. You will get this reward once a day and you will be able to see your balance accruing. Thank you for your trust. See you in future videos.